on my way to go work on my car, I saw this cool thing. All right, so my friend Jay is kind enough to let me use his shop from time to time. Although I have a shop at my house, I don't have any two posts there, and some jobs are just, you know, let's face it, not exactly really doable with a four post. Um, so I have a list of things that I want to finish. They're mostly just small little miscellaneous things. Uh, there's uh, an NSX meet in the Carolinas, you know, I think eight days from now. So I figure I'll use this opportunity to do what I can in this shop. I got the roof box off. I got the NSX right there and I got the trailer right there. I'm gonna do some work to the Moto Compo. I'm gonna bolt down the front of the roof box and I'm gonna attempt to take off my side skirts to do a little bit of body work because there's some cracks in them along with my bumper here, which has uh, not so perfect stuff going on. So I'm gonna do that. I may upgrade the uh, the compressor to that Viair 440 that they were kind enough to send to me. Shout out to Viair, thank you for that. And uh, Airlift, thank you for sending me the 3P management. I really appreciate it. So it's working really well. A whole list of just miscellaneous stuff. So I'm here tonight, nobody's here except for me. And I'm just gonna take off the bumper, start prepping everything getting it ready for paint, side skirts. I gotta check my wheel bearings in the trailer because I think the axles that I made uh, may not be sufficient. I might actually order actual NSX axles and just take off the cup parts from the ends and use the splines. And, and uh, yeah, that's it. Just me and Cassius are hanging out. He's right there and he's ready. He wants to go on a road trip and so do I. After we go to the Carolinas, we're going to go to Wolfsgart and uh, there's about 10 days in between those. so. Uh, I may do something in the meantime too. I may go down to Florida and go see some people down there if it's not too hot. All right, taillights off, bumper off, everything's naked. It's now the next night and uh, me and Cassius and Jay are here and we're gonna paint the bumpers and the side skirts. Well, we're gonna do the body work tonight. I don't know if we'll actually get around the painting yet. So back here at the shop again tonight, uh, I missed the paint store, it's Saturday. I thought they closed at two, they closed at one. So I missed them, I was there nine minutes late. Uh, but I'm gonna keep moving forward cause I'm trying to meet my deadline here. So uh, I have rattle cans of red paint, which I could put down a good base coat. And we do have some 2K clear here that we could spray out of an HVLP. So that's what I'm gonna do uh, right now. So everything's prepped and ready to be painted. Unfortunately, I have to do it all in rattle cans, but it'll come out okay. Oh, and I only have a limited amount of rattle cans here too in the color. Hopefully I don't run out. So unfortunately I didn't have enough cans to cover all of the pieces with full coverage. I did get full coverage on everything except for the rear spats. I didn't even touch those with any paint because I ran out. However, something strange happened with the last can and it let out this kind of white aerated spray at the very end and the scruffy took it right out. They could have been cleared, but the paint was so thin on the edges that we decided just to get some more paint and repaint everything.
there was some mess ups in the clear coat, but overall they came out good despite some runs and some dry spots. Some wet sanding to get rid of the orange peel improved it so it didn't look freshly painted, it matched the rest of the car. of an update right now in this video uh, the bumper got painted came out good but there was problems with it because uh, I ran out of spray paint so that ended up costing me a few hundred dollars more because I had to buy more paint and I just it was too thin the way I sprayed it so uh, we got that done um, we wet sanded the bumper came out pretty decent but we did it at nighttime couldn't really see what was going on so there are some some marks that you can see so it needs to be rebuffed um, I still need to denib all the dust out of the clear coat on the side skirts right there and uh, wet sand and buff those. Uh, the color match is pretty close. It's not exact. It's really hard to do. There's like, you know, thousands of different shades of red. Um, mine is the third variant of Chroma, which is the more yellow one. I noticed it's like one of the most rare variants for NSXs. I could be in a lot with 100 red NSXs and most of them are not my color. In fact, I've never actually seen one mine color, but I know that they exist. Um, but when they mix paint, even in Japan with the factory, it's never gonna be the same every time. And even if I go buy this variant again, the exact same one and spray it again, it's gonna be a little different. Um, so it's really hard to match it. It's like an art form. And that's why the paint shops that do it charge a lot of money and it can take them weeks to get a color match. Um, so anyway, updates on parts. Uh, I have some oil leaks, uh, not a big deal, but it's the VTEC uh, gaskets, the spool, the spool valves. I ordered them from Acura. They showed up late uh, and missing some of them, and some of them were the wrong items. Um, so I just replaced this little guy, which is just the seal around the uh, oil cap gasket. And now I'm gonna replace these guys right here, which is the main spool, spool valve gaskets. And while I'm at it, I might take them apart and change all the seals in it or anything that's leaking. But I'm running out of time. The Tail of the Dragon NSX meet thing is uh, today's Thursday. Um, and that's Saturday morning and that's in South Carolina. That's like a 13, 14 hour drive for me. So I foresee myself staying up all night tonight working, uh, cause I still have to do the wheel bearings, which I don't want to do the tail of the dragon with bad wheel bearings on the trailer, but I do want to put the trailer through its, through its tests and see how it's going to do. I want to put it through its paces. So this has bad wheel bearings. Um, I ordered new wheel bearings and new axles because the grade eight bolts I put in four axles, theoretically they should have worked, but apparently they didn't. Um, unless maybe they did and the wheel bearings just went bad anyway. I don't know. Uh, but I got the new wheel bearings. I just got them shipped. But I didn't get the axles. They didn't come in. And now the tracking is saying that they're not going to show up till Tuesday. So it looks like I'm doing the Tale of the Dragon with bad wheel bearings, which is risky. To lose a wheel. Um, but I'm a gambler, I guess. I take chances. Now, I could drive to Pennsylvania today to my friend's house, which is like four or five hours away, and pick up axles from him, which I might actually do if it comes down to the last minute. But as always, whenever I give myself a deadline and try to rush things and fix everything, um, it never really works out that well. So at some point I might just say, okay, good enough and drive down to South Carolina. Um, over, I may stay up for days and then drive all night and then go do the Tale of the Dragon tired, which is probably more dangerous than having bad wheel bearings. It's not like I can go fast anyway. Uh, not because of the trailer, it actually seems to handle pretty well at, at higher speeds. It's because of this guy right here. Um, I can't go fast with him in the car because he will just fly all over the place. So um, I do want to make like some kind of harness seatbelt thing for him. Uh, he's actually pretty good with it. He'll lean with the turns. Like when I start turning, he'll lean with it. So so I, I like to drive calm with them. I don't really push it too much. So it should be okay. But saving uh, things for the last minute and then trying to do them all in a week, it just takes a lot. So yeah, 
Uh, I have a list of things I need to do, all small miscellaneous stuff, and I'm not a mechanic, but so can you. Also, I still haven't put on these side spats. Um, they also need to be wet sanded and buffed, denibbed. Uh, but right down here, they were they were held on with 3M window weld. And as you can see, it holds on very well because when you take it off, it peels off the paint. Uh, most of the plastic surfaces on NSXs are not prepped well, uh, these included. So when they were put on with 3M uh, window weld and you take them off, that happens. Now, that won't happen to the metal panels, I hope. Um, and the reason I'm concerned about the metal panels, if you notice, my scoops aren't on there anymore. Um, and neither are my side splitters that I made out of carbon. So here's the thing about those. Uh, I'm gonna 3M window this window weld this back on there. And I was going to 3M window weld the side scoops on, which these spoon replica carbon side scoops, I have four of them because for the trailer and the car, so two sets. Now, I never really liked those things. They, I got them for free. I got one set for free when I bought a car. The guy had purchased them brand new. They were in the box. And at first I was like, I hate these things. I'm gonna sell them. They look way too aggressive on my car. Um, but then somewhere along the lines, I decided to test fit them and I put them on with 3M tape right here. But they made everything stick out because they stick out. They're very aggressive. It's not like I have a wide body NSX. Then they were like sticking out more than the wheels. So I was like, well, that doesn't look right. So in order to kind of offset that, I made those carbon splitters that I had that went down here and came up. And that actually made it look nice. Now, they were on with 3M tape, and one night I was driving in the rain, and I hear a sound, and I'm like, what was that? What, what just happened? I hear like a clink. And so I'm driving, and I pull over at a rest stop to, try, to check out and see what it was. The rest stop was like 10 or 15 minutes down the road, and I find one of the side scoops right here, sitting there. So it, it came off of here and somehow the wind brought it here and it just sat right there and it like got stuck right there. So I was lucky I didn't lose it. So I did a better job. I came back, I cleaned everything off and I put even more 3M tape, all brand new and even more of it there. And I never had an issue again. Then I put them on the trailer. Now the trailer has some fitment issues because this door was really bowed when I got it. That's why I was able to cut a factory NSX door because they were absolutely destroyed. The thing was bowed that way. So this gap right here is gross and I hate it. And the sides, and also this is two different colors. So this is formula red and this is new formula red. I don't know how well it's gonna show up on camera, but it's two different reds. And the side scoop, putting it there, hides or distracts anyway, so you don't notice the poor fitment of the door and you don't notice the two different colors as much. And you also don't notice little nicks and chips as much because they, their your eye kind of gets drawn to them. So um, I don't even know if I want to put these things back on because I don't like them. And if I am going to put them back on, I don't want to worry about them coming off. So I'm going to use that 3M window weld stuff again. Uh, that's if I put them on, but they are just one more thing to worry about. And also there's the 3M window weld. This stuff right here will pretty much bond anything permanently. I mean, it sticks to everything. They use it on windshields. So yeah, but uh, that's what I would use. Um, however, I may change the look. There's a style of these I like a lot better, but they're a thousand dollars a set. And if I get them, I need to match it to the trailer. So that's two sets I need. So that's two grand I got to spend for these things. And that's like before shipping. Uh, they're still aggressive, but they're not as aggressive. They actually replaced the whole vent. They're carbon, and this part sticks out about an inch. Um, I'll post up a picture of them. Uh, eventually, I will. I, I may get those. And then I think I'm going to redesign the uh, side splitters out of a different material. And then also do a lip right here. Um, that one that's actually chassis mounted. So, yep, that's it. So here's the side spats. Uh, they are looking like a good color match. However, they still need to be glued on. Uh, but there was always this problem. See that fitment? It really bothers me. It always stuck out so much. So I'm gonna attempt to use a heat gun to get that to sit nicely and bend it in the shape. And I actually just did it on this one, which fit the same way. And uh, I got it a lot better with the heat gun. I just kind of heated it up a lot, not enough to damage the paint, basically right before then. Then I take a rag for some heat soak and I just kind of pull it and hold it until it cools. So now this one could probably use a little more, but uh, there it is and it fits 
still a little bit off, but much better than the other side. Um, so a little more heat and a little more bending and I'll get it, but it was sticking out like a half an inch more than that, right about to there. So yeah, these are gonna come out nice. Much better. So the side spats are glued on with the 3M window weld and uh, they fit pretty decent. And I'm just waiting for it to dry, having it all taped up. I'm happy with them though. So my wheel bearing is fine. What it is is this, it's my camber adjustment bolt. That is moving and I'm having trouble tightening it anymore. So I'm thinking that maybe the bushing is bad in here. But if that's the case, that's not as bad. I'm happy the wheel bearing is okay. This I can take care of. Um, I like to take care of a wheel bearing too. It's more of a pain. Um, I have to add more weight with axles if my grade eight bolts were the problem, but it turns out they're not the problem. So that's good news. So I'm happy about that. I'll figure this out. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you tuning in. I appreciate the support. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below, and stay tuned for more videos coming shortly. I try to release one every week. Thanks.